Welcome to Rags to Riches. This is the series where we start off as a level one and work our way up to become the king of Los Santos. Come with me on this journey as we go from Rags to Riches in GTA Online. First things first, we need to create our character that's gonna be going on this adventure with us. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know exactly who we're gonna make. Where is he? Come on, where is he? There he is, Juan. We are making Juan, son of Juan, the level one. There you go, Juan. You look beautiful, mate. That's that's a great outfit right there. All right, let's go. All right, we're in. We've got $10,000-ish. Juan, mate, why, why do you have a gun out? Put the gun away. Put the gun away, Juan. Now, first thing we're going to do is go over to this stash house. This is because we need to actually be able to afford guns for what we're going to do next. All right, once we get in here... Completing this stash house will give us about $30,000, which is actually awesome. Once once we get in, there we- Oh, what a kick! Alrighty, that goes down. Oh, this auto-aim is, is bugging me. This guy's shooting me through the stairs. Oh, and I hit the stairs. Nice. Oh, foot shot, foot shot. Nice. I'm just, I'm just hitting walls today. All right, we're looking for a yellow sticky note. Here it is. All right, 73, 27, 38. There we go. We're in. Grab this bad boy and let's get out of here. So like I said, this gives us $30,000, which definitely helps as a level one. These also reset every single day. So we can actually do these every single day, which will help us out a lot. All right, see you, buddy. I'll be taking this bike. All right, 31 grand. Next thing we're going to do is G's stash up here. All right, we can also do these every single day as well. This is going to give us about $18,000. We're looking for a, a box. A box with some tape on it. Should be around here somewhere. We'll hear bells when we're near it as well. I should probably get off the bike. Not going to lie to you. This is uh, making it hard to hear the bells. Dude, I was looking for, for like five minutes for this goddamn box. And it was just a signal jammer beeping. Ugh. All right, here's the box. Found it in between two coffins. All right, $18,000. Camo and snacks as well. So we got 54 grand plus eight grand in the bank. We'll just pick up an action figure as well. So we got about 58 grand. This will be enough to get us some weapons. And then we can move on to step two. Let's go to ammunition. Suck my day. Only if you suck mine, brother. All righty, when I'm a low level, I always go for the service carbine. Pretty stock standard rifle. That's going to help us out a lot. So we'll get the extended clip, grip, and we'll get full ammo. And then we will want to go... Where is it? The micro SMG. We're not even level 5, bro. Okay. Um, Let's go for a backup option over here. We'll go for the machine pistol. This is kind of just a budget, budget version. Pretty similar, to be honest. We'll put extended clip on it as well. Get full ammo. And then we're on to the next step. So what we're going to do is the Drug Wars First Dose Missions. So your first time through these missions, you're going to get an extra $50,000 after every single mission. Once you complete the final mission, you're going to get $250,000 bonus. So all up, we're going to get somewhere around $550,000 just for completing these six missions. That's awesome. They got some nutsack coming here. Fresh meat. Dax, bro, you're a bit cringe. I'm not going to lie to you, Dax. You're pretty cringe, man. Pretty cringe. All right, here's the boat. We're going to take the boat over here, steal the van, take it back to Dax. But uh, there's going to be a lot of enemies over here. Good thing we bought the uh, the carbine. And good thing we also got full snacks from uh, that G stash as well. That's going to help for sure. All right, can I get to the van? Oh, there's a guy hiding behind it. There's a guy. Oh, there are so many. Nope, not yet. Not yet. We're not going the van yet. There's more coming in. Are you serious? We have a lot of boys here today. They do not want me getting this van. Heal, 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 heal. Yo, shout out to Rockstar for adding heal to the weapon wheel, bro. That was absolutely huge. I won't lie. Alrighty. You gonna peek? He's not gonna peek. We're just gonna drive. Dax, brother. You like that drift? Hop in. Take your time. There's no... I didn't actually notice he has 69 on his shirt. That's pretty based. Where are we, where are we going? Okay, 3.4 miles. Alrighty, Dax. Welcome home to the uh, abandoned warehouse. 
aka the Freak Shop, but I guess our character doesn't know that yet, technically. Mission passed. Okay, only $15,000. I know that doesn't sound that good, but just wait and see what happens next. All right, loading back in. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. $50,000. Next thing we're going to want to do is call Dax now that we have him as a contact and request work. I'll explain why once we're in the mission. These Dax missions are relatively easy to complete, especially as a low level, and they're going to pay us $50,000 for every single one. The only problem is they're on a 48 minute cooldown, so you can only do these once about every hour. That way, we may as well start doing them now, instead of waiting till the end of the story to start doing them, because this way, we can do another one once we finish the story, because it'll be off cooldown. Yeah, with this Rags and Riches series, I'm really trying to optimize how quickly I can actually make money and make the most of our time. Can we contaminate the final farm? We did it okay, and this plane is almost <laughs> ready to bite the dust. Oh man, this one just got me through. What's up, Dax? Oh, we have to destroy a tanker too? Oh, this, this plane... Is it going to make it? No, it's not. No, nice flying, bro. Are you serious? What's that pilot doing? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to park this one right here. Throw a grenade. Thank you to G-Stash. Ow. Ow. Thank you to G-Stash for getting us this grenade. Oh, that hell is shooting me. I'm dead. Come on. Come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Yes. We did it. Let's go. So once we leave this area, there we go, $50,000, we're already up to $130,000 and we still have five missions to go. So what we need to do is head back to the freak shop now. The fastest way to do this is actually just to set it as your spawn location and change lobbies. And we're going to start up mission two, designated driver, let's do it. Alright, where's the truck cab? Should be around here. There, no, oh, oh, false alarm, we're hopping out. Right over here. We will take this one, thank you very much. I hope you weren't using that one, buddy. This one's mine now. Connect this one here. Beautiful. And we're off. Deliver these to the freak shop. Should be a pretty easy mission, right? Yep, definitely uh, not as easy as we thought. They got a roadblock. All right, we need to abandon these supplies because they're about to blow up. Thanks to those lads shooting them. Now we're just going to uh, drive straight into their clubhouse and absolutely destroy them. This was, this was not a good idea. Okay, maybe, yeah, I'll be a bit more cautious this time. That's probably a good call. Juan, you got a bit excited there, mate. Throw a nade. Oh, that's good. That's got them both, for sure. Later, boys. Oh, I blew that up too. Neat. In we go. I don't think there's anyone in here. But you never know. you got to be careful, man. Sometimes they don't show up on the radar just yet. All right, we're looking for some plans. Should be in the planning room. Here we go. Take a photo of this. Send it to Dax. Not sure how he can read that. Maybe it's like a 4K camera or something. I'm not too sure. We're also going to take this bag. And then we're going to steal their drugs. Because uh, why not? I better be getting a big cut from this, Dax. This is, this is worth a lot of money, mate. Back to the freak shop. And that's mission two down. Another fifty thousand dollars plus whatever we get here, which is wow, wow. Okay, not much. Next mission, we're up to one hundred and eighty-four thousand dollars. Let's go with mission three. This is a pretty fun mission. We literally just get to blow absolutely everything up. The objective is literally to blow just all of their stuff up. Kind of a reskin Trevor mission, but that's it's okay. It's still pretty fun. This guy's trying to sneak up behind me. Bro, you got... You got played. Not only are we uh, blowing up all their stuff, we're stealing all their drugs again! You could fuck off. Seriously. That brat's got some big plans! Motherfucker! Are you rushing me with a... Is that a wrench? Bro, come on, man. You're better than that. You're better than that, bro. Now I know every vehicle. Grab 
into the water with all 10 bits of drugs. And not only that, we're stealing their plane as well. We're really running these guys into the ground, aren't we? This has been some sort of sabotage. Land it here. Beautiful. Oh, bit rough, but she's alive. Yeah, let's go, Dax. Let's go. He's hyped. Mission passed. What do we get for that? Surely at least 10. Okay. 13 and a half plus the $50,000 for the first time bonus again. This mission is wild, bro. This is an absolute trip in more ways than one. There are flying trucks coming at me. RGB trucks. Epilepsy warning, by the way. I hope, <laughs> I hope this isn't triggering anyone. Oh. Okay. This is, this is confusing because I am pushing backwards to go forwards now and right to go left. My controls are flipped. Everything's completely flipped right now. I wonder if Rockstar actually took acid to make this mission. This is like some Red Dead Redemption mission right now, just with drugs. Yeah, I think I'm getting abducted by an alien or something. This is wild. Yep, we are. We're getting abducted. This is such a weird mission, man. Can I go through all of them? Can I go through all of them? Come on. Right through. Oh, come on. Beautiful skydiving. Beautiful skydiving right there. Don't mind the fact that he is completely high as balls. Where do I even land? Yeah, that would have hurt a bit, wouldn't it? Juan. Whoa, Juan. Juan. Trip survived. It doesn't even say mission passed. Ten thousand dollars though, and another fifty thousand as usual. Nice, love to see it. Only two more missions left. They start to get a bit longer now, I think. Actually, time to blow up absolutely everything. Once again, we are just—you have an alien gun, bro. I didn't even know those guns were like cannon. I guess they are. All right, we're blowing up all of their labs out here as well. We're just running these guys into the ground. Now we're destroying all their delivery vans. Cause, cause why not? We haven't hurt these guys enough. We need to completely destroy the opposition. Time for the final boss. It's a helicopter. And it's down. Now we get the skydive off. This is kind of cool. As long as we don't hit the ground. Can I get over it? Can I get over it? Ugh. No. Okay, mission pass though. Good. I, I was low-key a bit nervous there. I won't lie to you. Now, I forgot to do this before, but new players, you probably should be spinning the wheel every single day as well. There's a chance you can win $50,000 or $40,000 from it. Or you could just straight up win a car, which would be absolutely huge starting out your journey. What are we going to get? Are you serious? Are you serious? On to the final job. And this is a big one. See you, buddy. I was trying to do this stealth, but that's just not going to work at this point, is it? Okay, I'm going to have to kill this entire army, basically. All in a day's work, huh? Hack the keypad, hope no one comes up behind me and, and shoots me in the back. I think we're good. We're good, we're in. Beautiful. Alright, we're looking for intel. Intel, intel, intel. There it is. Take a photo of that. With clearly our 4K ultra high definition 
camera, because Dax can somehow read that. Uh, we need to get five bits of chemicals. They'll they'll be in these boxes. And we're out of here. Let's go. So what we need to do is go up here and uh, crash the train, basically. Not gonna lie, this is probably the coolest looking mission in the entire game. The crash train with all the chemicals everywhere. It's a pretty cool aesthetic, I won't lie. We need five bits of chemicals again. There's one, four more to go. There we go, we've got all five, but our job's not done. We are gonna steal the Brigade 6x6. Now what's awesome about this is once you steal this, you can put an acid lab in the back of it. So not only are we going to have a cool vehicle, we're going to have our first business. If we can get it out of here, that is. Which, uh, it kind of, kind of a tough spot to get it out of, huh? Alright, off we go. Off to the freak shop. Okay, I, I thought I was going to fail that mission right there. That kind of freaked me out. We're good. We're done. Mission passed. Hopefully. Yes. Alright, we're good. We're good, for sure. Please, pop up. There we go. Mission passed. How much we get for the final mission? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get the $250,000 bonus now, though. Let's deposit all our money. So what are we at? $616,000. That's, that's pretty good. Let's head inside the actual freak shop here. We're gonna go talk to Mutt. Alright, steal the lab equipment from a nearby warehouse to unlock the acid lab. Let's go do this. Let's go to one of these warehouses on our map. With that yellow logo. And uh, we'll get this bad boy set up. I'm a forklift driver today. I know, we've gone from, uh, gone from killing hundreds of people and stealing acid labs and whatnot to uh, being a forklift driver. But all in a day's work, it's, it's all good. Right, all three pallets are on. Grab this truck. Let's get out of here. Setup complete. Now, we can't actually get it yet. As you can see here, we're going to need $750,000 in order to actually install this. So, we need a quick way to make about $140,000. Luckily, there is a really easy way to do this, even as a level 1. What we're going to do next is the 10 junk skydives. You can actually do these every single day. So every single day, there's going to be 10 of these around the map. Completing all 10 of them with a gold medal is going to give you $150,000 total. Every single day. You can do that every day. It's going to take you about, I don't know, 45 minutes to do all 10. And as a new player, that's really good money. There we go. First one down, $5,000. We have nine more to go, and then we're going to get an extra $100,000 bonus. And that's hundred and fifty grand total. Let's do it. I won't bore you with it. We'll skip to the last one now. There we go. $100,000. We have about hundred and fifty k cash. That'll be more than enough to get this acid lab set up. Let's go back to the freak shop, and let's set it up. So, there you have it. This acid lab is ours once it spawns in here. There we go, and that's the end of episode 1. To recap, in today's video, we did some stash houses and a G stash to get us enough money to buy some guns. We then used those guns to complete the entire first half of the Drug Wars story. After completing that, we ended up with about $600,000. 
We then did the 10 junk skydives to give us $150,000. We then used that 750 grand to buy the acid lab. And that's where we'll leave it off. Next episode, we'll be setting up the acid lab and starting the process of buying more businesses to build our empire in GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Sub for more stuff like this. I'll see you in episode two. Peace.